Combat arms training and maintenance plays a vital role in supporting the mission. Technical Sergeant Tyler Brown, the NCOIC of CADM, explains more about how they ensure airmen are volunteer ready. Combat arms, we provide the minimum amount, well, the basic fundamentals of how to use firearms, whether that's rifles, uh, pistols, heavy machine guns, grenade launchers. We teach airmen how to use those in case that they ever have to employ those weapons out in the field or deployed stateside, wherever. Uh, along with that, we also inspect and maintain all the weapons on the 134th Air Refueling Wing. So my favorite part about the job would be uh, having a student that comes in, they've never handled a gun before, or they haven't handled one since basic training. So they're not comfortable, they're not familiar. By the end of the day, once we've taught them everything they need to know, they've shot, they start to get more confident, and they start to understand how the gun operates and to see that, that confidence building in them is probably my favorite part of the job. Cops qualify on an annual basis along with quarterly sustainment training. They're doing some kind of firearms manipulation or training. Uh, most of the other career fields, it's typically right before they deploy. So anybody that leaves for deployment will come to us for firearms training. Technical Sergeant Brown explains the average length of a CADM course. Uh, typically four to seven hours. Just depends on class size, uh, students. So cop class is probably going to be a little bit quicker because they handle guns more often. About yeah, four to seven hours, roughly. McGee Tyson is one of the few Air National Guard bases with a range physically located on base. The upgrades of the range have provided airmen with a convenient and safe learning environment. CADM also teaches the use of a wide variety of weapons. Uh, so we have the M9 pistol, or the handgun, uh, the M4 carbines, which are the, the rifles, uh, the M240 Bravo, which is our heavy machine gun, or our crew served machine gun, which fires a 7.62, fully automatic. And we got M249 AR, which is automatic rifle, which is basically an M4 on steroids, fully automatic, uh, belt fed machine gun as well as our 203 grenade launchers, M203 grenade launchers, and the new, we actually just got the new M320 grenade launchers, which are our standalone system. Reporting from the 134th Air Refueling Wing, I'm Staff Sergeant Melissa Deerstone.